so this is fossorial locomotion. So there's three types of diggers, scratch, um, humoral rotation, and tooth. Tooth is not shown here, but you'll be able to see a tooth digger with humongous teeth. Such as a gopher. Such as a gopher. Um, here you will see just a regular scratch digger. The um, arms are just out front and right under it. And here the scapula is kind of more rotated. So this would be an example of humoral rotation. And this does kind of a swimming locomotion. So if you swim with your hands, like you just imagine that, that's how it digs. It's a side stroke. Side stroke, that's a good word. And that's, um, let's see, that's for moles. And the general body type of um, the diggers are short, LOs, so that would give it more mechanical advantage and strength. And then, let's see, the muscles insert far from the joint to give it power. And let's see, the muscles are really robust. We don't have muscles here, but the muscles are really robust. And there's lots of fibers, which gives it a large cross-sectional area. And the claws are robust. Um, more general things are just that the skull, the eyes, ears, and nares are really small. Since they're digging, they really have reduced features like these on the face because they're not really needed. They're in the ground. And they have a tight closing mouth. Even the tooth diggers have lips that come before their huge teeth. So. That's about it. Well, you can yeah, also they, talk yeah. about the features the what? of this. You can also say... The features, like, you can tell that these are for, for the diggers because it has more prominent bone features for muscle insertion. So, oh, yeah. yeah. So these large processes, whenever we have processes like these, so this would be... I'm not sure which limb it is, the hind or forelimb, but these large processes shows where muscles will attach. So these processes show like big long muscles will attach here. Anything else?